my squad, my squad, my squad, my squad. You're welcome to the Nar Father, aka the Teflon Nar Show. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for coming in. All right, y'all. Good evening. Good evening. The Nar Father is here. We're going back to the West Side Connection, real quick. The Mac Ten Ice Cube beef. You know what I'm saying? First, let me say this. Shout out to Mac Ten. When you think of Mac Ten, I always liked the Mac Ten. I always liked him. Was he underrated? I don't think so. He stood next to giants. And he learned until he became a giant, <clears throat> excuse me, himself one day. He's a rap icon, especially in the city of L.A. He paid his dues. Then you got Ice Cube. Okay. They said Cube was a gangster because he went to school. I say because Cube went to school, that's gangster. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Going to school is gangster, man. Word it up. So shout out to Q for that. And he also helped revolutionize. He basically revolutionized the way black actors did their thing in L.A. and everywhere else. He revolutionized, like for the new era that was coming up at that time. It was young rappers looking for, for roles. At a time when other actors or trained actors was getting the roles. He revolutionized that with Boys in the Hood. When he played Doe, Doe Boy, man, when that camera zoomed in on him for the first time, I bet you everybody sat in that movie theater and said, they, there he is. Like, you waited for him to come, the whole movie didn't, they, you know, the camera zoomed in on him. He like, yo, man, he said this little thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out, shout out to Q, man. Because he revolutionized the way young black actors coming up at that time, such as himself, was portrayed. Then the higher, higher learning with the Afro and the pick in the back of the head. Shout out, shout out to Q, man. Shout out to Q. But these two is embroiled in their little situation that happened years ago. And... I'm an up-and-coming journal journalist. I'm an up-and-coming journalist on YouTube. I've been in for like a minute, a quick minute. But I'm learning. I'm learning how to get better. So their little beef is because of allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, the brother-in-law has something to do with a situation that happened between him and Mac-10 Camp that led the cube saying, listen, I'm going about my, my business. And to this day, it's still the same thing. So even though it might not be a West Side connection, they still West Side connected. So that's why these stories are being done. See, the story wasn't fully told back then. Everybody knew about it. But now, the story's going to come out as something as a historical situation, whether they never get back together or not. They still West Side connected. Mm, 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 mm. Bow down. You know what I'm saying? They still West Side connected. Regardless. And shout out to the West Coast. I met people like, I mean, I spoke to people online like Bos Bosco 100. Yo, shout out to Bosco 100. He might not know who I am yet, but I used to talk to him about the, the um, gangs in L.A. and Yo, we was about to do some things together, you know what I'm saying? I got caught up in some other stuff and lost track, you know what I'm saying? But I was actually researching on the L.A. story for a while now. And Bosco 100 was, like, the main one that I did the story on. And he, um, 
I gotta put this picture up here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out to Bos Bosco 100. You know what I'm saying? Definitely shout out to Bosco 100. You know what I'm saying? I've been I I follow this dude. I've been following this guy <clears throat> since the beginning of him being on these YouTube streets. I followed him since the beginning, like a day one type shit. And uh, I followed him through. And one day I got in touch with him on so social media. And I was letting him know what I was doing. And I let him watch himself on there. He was always at the forefront, step to the situation type type guy. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely look forward to um maybe one day having a conversation and letting him know who I am. So he probably be like, oh, yeah, right, yeah, I remember you. He didn't make, like, like, nigga, I don't remember you. <laughs> I don't know. But then we might catch up on some things. So like I said, once again, shout out to Bosco 100, a real general. I followed this dude, like I said, since his day one on YouTube. And the boxing match, oh yeah, shout out to Wack One Hundred. No disrespect, Wack. You the you the you the damn man. You is the man. I challenged Wack to like a little boxing match, cause they was doing the boxing match. Bosco was on that card too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wrote, I heard he was he was gonna pay somebody twenty five hundred to take the fight. So me having a granddaughter that was born in Compton, but. Well, her fa family was born in Compton and moved outside of L.A., probably to a safer location. <laughs> I like L.A., though, man. Shout out to L.A. I've been out there. I, I have been to Ox Oxnard. I've, I've been out there, you know what I'm saying? I've been out there. I've been in some places in, in L.A., Hollywood, Hollywood, all that. Santa, Santa Monica, shout out, you know what I'm saying? So um, I, I've been out there. You know what I'm saying? But my my son moved to California for a while and had a girlfriend and he had a baby. And that's my grand grandbaby. That's my oldest. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? So even if there never, ever, ever be a West Side Connection reunion on stage or any kind of sort, remember that group is is and always will be West Side Connected. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them both. They're both doing great with their lives. Continue on with success. This is the Nard Father right here. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, that little boxing match, I challenged Wack 100 to it, and, you know, he turned me down. You know what I'm saying? Say he ain't want to put no old, old dude doing the, doing the hospital. But I know how to fight. But that's that was just to get the 25, 3500, whatever, so I could go see my grand granddaughter who lived in California, and I spent damn near every dime on her, took her shopping and everything like that. Wine down with food. She's actually in New New York now. I'm gonna text her when I get off the phone. See what see what see what she what she doing. But um, you know, it's no disrespect. Win no or lose. At least I had that thirty twenty five thirty five hundred. I'd have went and spent that on my grand granddaughter. So, Bosco, if there's any other boxing matches coming up out there, you know what I'm saying? Give me one of them little old, old time abouts. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming, baby. Shout out to the West Side. Shout out to Cal California, West Coast. You know what I'm saying? I got a fam, fam out there. Thank you for taking care of her. This is Denard. I love y'all all. Peace.